Hello, my name is Ty Muirhead with the Dell Enterprise Technology Center. Welcome to the Storage vMotion demo. Today we're going to talk about Storage vMotion, but first let's introduce what regular vMotion or classic vMotion is. Um, this is where you have two servers, both running VMware ESX server, and the VM moves from one physical server to the other. This really means that the processing and memory moved, but the uh, the, the disk location where the VM was located actually stayed the same. So it really leveraged this shared storage to move a VM. Now with storage vMotion, we're moving the storage while the VM processing and memory stays in place on one server. So um, by using a combination of these two things, you could actually move a VM entirely. So storage vMotion requires the VMware remote command line interface in order to execute. So you can install the Windows component for that, like you see here uh, in the demo. There's other options. You can also install a Linux version of the command line interface tools, or you can use a remote command line uh, VM appliance that VMware provides. So why do you have to use the remote command line interface? Well, the reason is because it's not in the GUI. So as we look at Virtual Center, and we select this VM, and look for the options, what we see is only an option to migrate uh, via classic vMotion. And you'll, as you'll see, the only destinations that are available are servers. There's no options here to specify different storage arrays. So in order to do storage vMotion, you have to use the command line interface. And this VM is currently on VM host 1, and what we'd like to do, if we look at the host, we'd like to move it to the VM host 5 uh, partition. But before we do that, uh, what we've done is we've put this VM under load. So we're using the Dell DVD store uh, testing tool uh, running against a SQL Server 2005 database on the VM to have the VM under moderate load. So you can see the red line represents response time and uh, those is in milliseconds, so response time is, is very good. And then the green line represents the orders per minute that are coming in. So if we open the command line interface and run the svmotion.pl uh, command with the interactive option, it will prompt you for all the information that's needed to uh, run the command. Uh, another option is, is of course, to, to put it all on one single command line, um, which is good, but for, for demonstration purposes, it's obviously a lot easier to, to go through each of the options so you can see them. So basically you uh, give it the parameters to connect over to the virtual center server and then you tell it uh, which virtual machine that you want to move here on uh, the VM host 1 storage, uh, the W2K3 SQL2K5A1 uh, VM. And then you give it the destination data store which is going to be VM host 5. Then you have the option to individually place additional disks. This VM is, only has one disk, so that's not necessary for us. So here I've sped up the, the speed of the video for the purposes of, of this recording by about eight times. Uh, it took about eight minutes to uh, move the, 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 the one drive on this VM from VM host 1 to VM host 5. And during that time, you can see that the response time did increase um, quite a bit. So there would be an impact. Um, to performance of a VM while it was moving uh, with storage vMotion. And that would obviously vary based on the amount of load and the application. So uh, as it completed, uh, you get a completion message. And then if we go and look in Virtual Center, you can see that for this VM, it is now on VM Host 5 Data Store. Now if we go back to Performance Monitor, we can see that the response time has come back down to the level before the storage vMotion began, which is good. Um, basically, no interruption to the VM in terms of availability, and we're able to move its uh, storage from one LUN to another. That's it for the demo. If you have any other questions, please uh, log on to DellTechCenter.com and post your questions. Thanks.